Weeks at ITV News. It is six o'clock. Min, the president accuses the challengers of trying to steal the election to the point where Twitter have to put all... And the key states are different. Mm. So uh, the, the law will be that the states will decide how their process works. The head of the federal government, Donald Trump, is trying to stop that uh, because he senses that may cost him the White House. And remember, this isn't about the national vote, the totality of the individual votes cast. This is all about the Electoral College and who gets to the magic threshold of 270 Electoral College votes. Um, currently, Biden is on 215 and Trump 171. But there are states with huge numbers of Electoral College votes which could then tip it the other way. Trump has defied a lot of the critics who thought it might be a Biden landslide. It's definitely not going to be a Biden landslide. Uh, Trump looks like he's won Florida and Ohio, two of the key battleground states. He was up in Georgia, but that is now heading back to Biden, which would be a big win for Biden. Biden has many thought to the Midwest, um, to Pennsylvania, to Wisconsin, to Michigan, the three key Midwest battleground states. Biden if he wins two out of three, will probably be president. If he doesn't, Donald Trump will probably still be president. It is that close, and it may even be, on the Electoral College, a tie. Mm. 269 each, uh, which is, I mean, almost, I don't think it's ever happened before, um, but that would lead us into all sorts of constitutional hell, and we'll get some experts on to yeah. explain what that means and how you get of, the, of Florida, of course, with Al Gore and George Bush back in 2000. So it's incredibly exciting, very unpredictable. Uh, and as I said when I went to bed last night, the one thing I'm absolutely confident about is I've no idea what's going to happen. The, and the right now, is, nobody does. There was a moment, wasn't there? I mean, I woke up about half one, two o'clock mm. and said, does anybody want a shot of deja vu with mm. their morning coffee? Because it felt in the middle of the night for us, like this was 2016 all over mm -hmm. again. We'd all gone to bed thinking that the Democrats were very, very likely to win the election. That's what the polls were showing. But in the middle of the night, it showed again, you cannot rely on the polls because Biden is not the confident winner. He gave a speech in Delaware um, within the last half an hour um, and we have a little bit of it. Uh, I'm not sure he was um, sounding... I think this convinced. was a rally the troops speech, keep mm, morale up speech. I don't know, he sounded like he was trying to convince himself, to be honest. Well, let's take a little listen if we've got it. Oh, well, he says he's going to win Pennsylvania, but he may not win Pennsylvania, and that's where we are with the election right now. Let's go to Richard Gaysford. He's in Washington, D.C. So Texas has been held by Trump. Uh, there were a few wobbles earlier in the week as to whether Texas may dramatically turn blue, but it stayed resolutely red, it would Massive appear. Massive amount of early voting. In a lot Texas. of early voting, yeah. A lot of early voting on everywhere. It's going to be a huge turnout. And, of course, the early voting is skewing some of these results. It pushes one way early, and then you have the voting on the day come in, and it all starts to get a little bit different. Um, let's go to Ranveer first with the rest of the day's news. And it's called Texas for Donald Trump. That's 38 electoral college votes for him. Mm -hmm. Current tally is 219 electoral college votes for Joe Biden, 209 for President Trump. Oh, As I said I earlier, this may come right. down to uh, immediate reaction to the events of the night from our panel of insiders and experts. We're joined from New York by President Trump's former White House Director of Communications, Anthony Scaramucci, who held his job for mm -hmm. just 11 days, uh, author of In Trump We Trust, a conservative political commentator, Ann Coulter, who's in Palm Beach, Florida. Also in New York is Midwin. Who is likely to win? And um, we had two of our guests saying they were absolutely sure it was Biden. And on the numbers currently, that is the case. I said I still thought that President Trump had a chance of winning a second term. Bizarrely, having just heard his statement saying we did win tonight, I'm absolutely convinced that he's lost. Well, I think he thinks he may lose. And he's now decided to lay the ground for delegitimizing the result by mm -hmm. saying that any of the votes that were sent in by mail, um, which can be sent in some of these states up to the last second on election day if they're postmarked and can be counted for several days or weeks after the election, that they are not legitimate.
that the votes, they should stop counting them and that they don't count and that therefore he's won the election and it should all be called off. Uh, quite is, extraordinary. This is a fraud on the American public. We were getting ready to win. Frankly, we did win this election. To well, ensure... he hasn't won the election. No, to ensure the integrity of this nation. It's been a major fraud on this nation and we will be going to the US Supreme Court. He doesn't explain why, because there's no evidence yet that anyone stole anything. Let's bring back Andrew uh, and Kevin. Uh, Andrew, I've never seen anything quite like